Welcome to Dragon Law Gaming, we're Gaming Law Intersect, I am your host, Dragon. Today we bring you another Dragon Champions video. This is the test account. Yes, I've had a lot of people message me about, do you have a test account? Yes, I do. This is a test account. I, wanna, I can't say it enough. I, this is not a live server. This is not on the live servers. We're not competing with anybody else. This is simply a tool to be able to help the community better test the game, be able to bring us as content creators to bring you more information about the game, to better inform you on who's good, who's not, where to invest, where to put your resources, that sort of stuff. So I want to make sure that we're very clear right up at the front that this is not on the live server. This is not being competed against. I, you'll never see this account in the regular game. Um, the resources here are unlimited for us to be able to go in and test the game out and to be able to bring you guys information that you desperately need. Who's good? Who's bad? What competition? What comp, uh, uh, compositions? Sorry. Uh, our teams are good. You know, how to prepare the raid, how to do these sorts of things. That's what it's about, and that's what I'm bringing to you today. Um, there's going to be some things that we're obviously not going to be able to show right away, um, and that's just that's just the way it's going to be. But I do want to let you guys know right away that, yes, I have a test account. Yes, I plan on making videos for video guides on team competitions, video uh, compositions. I can't say that word today at all. Um, it is 546 in the morning here, so I please forgive me for any sort of... Uh, misspeaking today i am super tired but this is a test account you'll always see at the very top hand corner dlg test account that's how that's when you know i'm on the test account um dlg test account is my test account anytime we're doing videos and you see that up in the top uh, left hand corner you know that i'm on the test account and that these things are this is not my main account. I do have my main account still, and I'm still playing it, of course. Um, and we'll be bringing you some information there. Uh, if you're watching this video today, there's probably there's going to be, uh, and this is 12 7 19 right now. It's currently at the time of the recording, it's 5 47 in the morning. Uh, but I'm going to be working on this test account. I've got to level things up. Um, as you can see, I have characters that need to be summoned. I have to grind them up and gear them up um, and that sort of stuff. And so it's going to take some time. But what I plan on doing for the rest of this video is there is going to be a live stream today on 12 7 19. There will be a live stream today if you are not following me on Twitter at Dragon Log Gaming please do so and the reason for that is that i've had a lot of people recently asking me what about a stream schedule when are you going to stream next you're hitting me up on discord you're hitting me up on uh on youtube and that's all great and i really do appreciate it i can't tell you guys how much um that i appreciate that uh but if you if you go to twitter and you follow me on twitter then you're going to be able to uh see uh, I, I'll post something on Twitter. Hey, I'm going live here in a few minutes, that sort of thing. Um, and then you'll have an update. You'll know when I'm going to go live, you know, 30 minutes before I'm going to go live, 15 minutes before I'm going to go live. Also, I do have a Discord channel. It's not particularly uh, up to date and that sort of thing. If you do join the Discord, uh, my Discord channel, you'll get enough. I can update you there as well. Also, if you're doing, um, if you're on any of the other like if you're on the Dragon Recruit, uh, Dragon Champions recruitment page on Discord, um, that one I have a section of the content creators on that one as well that I can post there, letting people know that I'm about to go live um, as well. But I think that Twitter is probably going to be the easiest way. Um, if so, if you hit me up with a follow on Twitter, I'll be able to say, "Hey, I'm going live here," and then you can DM me and that sort of stuff. Questions. I really do love the questions. I this, My last few videos have been getting a good many of them. And what I planned on doing for the rest of this particular video uh, today is I wanted to tell you once, yes, I have a test account. Um, and two, I love all your guys' questions. I'm trying to see about doing, a, a, you know, like a stream schedule. Um, I do, once again, I work full time. 
Um, I am a full-time practicing attorney, so Monday through Friday, that's what I do. I do have four children and a wife and family, um, and so I just try to do my best um, to get you guys the content and get it, get it out there as quickly as I can uh, and that sort of stuff. But I'm getting new, I'm getting comments all the time. Hey, what about this? Or, you know, great job. Well, actually, which I appreciate a ton. I mean, all the feedback in the world is really, really good. But I'm also getting stuff like... Um, Exarius uh, Clement, and if I mispronounce your name, I am super, super sorry about that, but uh, he he sent me a message, uh, commented about an hour ago, and says, which of the heroes in whom we can invest scrolls? And my response to him was, well, it depends on your level, what level you are, and your roster. Um, and he's like, well, can you do like a general overview video, maybe discussing the various different stages of the game mid, early, and late? And yeah, I can. Um, but it also, I just kind of wanted to give you an idea. To, it it kind of depends on where you're at in the game. Uh, if if you're if you're new to the game, if you're brand very new, brand new, you need to be leveling your orcs. Um, you need to be investing in your orcs. Uh, your scrolls should be going into your orcs. Uh, that's the, where they should be. When you start getting into the mid game, if you've uh, already unlocked Soleus, um, or if you're planning on unlocking Soleus the next time around, then you'll want to be you'll want to look into doing something else. So let me flip on real quick uh, my other page. Uh, let's see here. So. Thank you, Blue Stacks, for allowing me to emul use your emulator here. Uh, so it, it depends on, you know, you're, when you're in the mid game, you want to max these skills out. And they're, with your orcs, right, you're not going to go wrong on orcs maxing skills out, um, you know, to really you're you're just not going to do that they're a good solid team that's going to allow for you to do a lot of things in the game they're allowed they're going to allow you to get soleus which you absolutely need he's the best healer in the game and then put max him out use you're not going to go wrong putting your scrolls into soleus he's really good a night el all right if you're opening packs and that sort of thing and this is part of the reason why i say this is a it's, it depends on who you are what level you are and what your roster looks like because if you if you open a bunch of packs and you spent money on the game and you have you have picked you know you've got night el right away um or you've unlocked kara to seven stars you should be investing in those characters those are the big mvps right uh kara night el um, if you, if, if you've wailed hard on the game and you have hard work already and you're level 45, right? Max out hard work, right? You're, you're just not going to, you're not going to go wrong with that. If you've got Patriarch Chi, um, you know, you'll want to, if Patriarch Chi is a little bit different, you want to max out the, you want to max out, uh, the leadership ability and the shield. Um, those are your, the, your main focuses. And so, those are the kind of things that you're that you're wanting to look at. You're not gonna go, um, you're not gonna go wrong, um, putting in ability scrolls for top tier characters. Now, if you've listened, if you watched my video on top, t uh, my top tier list, my tier one list of characters, just remember the overview. The overview is a character is tier one, in my opinion, if that character standalone by themselves can be plugged and played, and and that sort of thing. Um, since making that tier list, I, I've gotten lots of feedback uh, from the community who has said, oh, what about this person? Big one was Cruel. All right. She is much better than I thought she was. Uh, she can do a lot of really, really good things. And so because because she does really really well and she's currently meta defining she can do when she when you put put her up with soleus and nightiel and then um and then freezard uh she becomes amazing and then of course she can she's got some you know her ability to put a tanks under stealth um and copy other copy other uh other major or you know other just any other battlefield person any any other character is is really really good and she can do that all on her own 
Um, and so she is, in my mind, you know, a tier one type of uh, character. Of course, she's going to be hard to farm, right? She's only got one node. Um, you know, I've been farming her, uh, you know, but she's only got one node. So, but her her abilities, right? Her second special and her passive, you're not going to get, you're not going to go wrong putting in ability scrolls there. And so hopefully that, that kind of gives you an idea. Like I can do an entire video on it. And I don't have a problem with doing that. Um, but as of right now, uh, I wanted to be able to answer your question uh, in a very quick and decisive sort of way. So here, you can see here, I'm in my main account now. It pulled up, right? You can tell the difference. When I'm in my main account, right, it's going to say Dragon Law Gaming here up at the top. It's going to have my level, which is 76, right? And that sort of stuff. When I go into my other account, all right, and we'll just pull it up. Um, when you when you pull up when I pull up the other blue stacks, right? My other blue stacks account, and we'll just uh, maximize this this way. Right. Dragon Law Gaming Test Account, much different, right? And they're not on the same server, so I just want to make sure that's very very clear. Um, going through some other comments, um, you know. Uh, just one of them, uh, Juan Shanks said, is removing buffs potency based? Now we're talking about Ember here. So I'm going to go over, go back over to my account, my regular account here. And let's talk about Ember for just a second. So I spent um, some time yesterday talking uh, with the developers about Ember specifically and about her spirit of zan uh, noah i don't know how to say it man i <laughs> you guys all know that i can't pronounce anything it seems like um but we're talking about this particular ability the sixth ability now i do have enough scrolls to unlock the ability i am not going to do that at the moment now that i have the test account i will unlock it over there and i'll test it out but here uh, the only reason why i'm not unlocking is i'm still trying to get seven stars I think I might be able to do that before the event is over, but until then I'm going to save my scrolls and, and do something and do a little something different. But this ability says deals 250% magic damage to all enemies, 70% chance to inflict burning for two turns, and 30% chance to remove all buffs from enemies. So I talked to the developers yesterday, and the way this ability works, and the way this the way this ability works is that they have a 30% chance to hit right 30 percent chance to hit the remove all buffs from enemies so once 30 percent chance to hit if you hit that ability it then runs potency versus tenacity meaning whatever her potency is versus whatever the tenacity is of the character that gets hit is going to determine whether they remove all the buffs. Um, I found that to be, that was the answer I got. Um, and let me, all right, that was the answer that I got. I, I It confused me a little bit, um, but I but that is how the mechanic works. Um, they have to, you have a, you have a it deals damage to all the enemies, right? 70% chance to inflict burn. But if you hit, then you have a 30% chance to hit and remove all the buffs. But then it's after that 30% chance is successful, right? It runs a it runs a potency versus tenacity on that character. And they can resist the removal of the buffs even after it lands. Um, and so it's all happening in the background. Uh, so that do keep that in mind. I think in my video, I said that potency works. I had some other people actually message me saying, Hey, I put potency on my character. Um, and it really helped. It made, it really made her come alive. I've gotten some of that feedback, uh, but yeah, potency seems is, is something you need to do. I think on this character right now, um, we're going to have another, I have a, a video coming up that I'm planning on working on with another, uh, with another YouTuber, uh, nerd this, hopefully you guys are subscribed to him and checking his stuff out. He's got some really cool stuff and we're going to work on a video where we're talking about the advanced mechanics of the game. Um, and so I don't know exactly when that video is going to be coming out, but we're going to be working on that here soon. 
So hopefully I wanted to kind of go in and just some of these questions, they were, they were burning in my mind and I wanted to go ahead and, and talk about them, uh, in a video, you know, tell you guys, thank you for, thank you for coming out. Thank you for supporting, um, and that sort of stuff. New, new content. It, it will be coming. A lot of new content will be coming. Uh, but like I said, I've got to, I'm going to work on the test account here, get the things leveled up. Uh, I wanted to get this video out to you today. Uh, there'll probably be, like I said, there'll be a live stream later today. Um, uh, and that sort of thing. Once again, just for the last, last little bit, Dragon Law Gaming is here. This is my regular account. When I flip over, when you see, when you see this here, um, give me a second. We're going to come back over here. All right. DLG test account. That's going to be the test account there. That's it. Um, and so, all right, everybody, thank you so much for being here. If you are new around here, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing. And we'll see you next time when gaming and the law intersect.